Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. You all know there's only one way to end this war. Ahoy hoy! This is one that everybody saw and everybody was very excited to get. Uh, the transformation seems to be a bit on the convoluted side. But, you know... What can I tell you? Third party figures, man. Like, a lot of them forget that these are toys and they should be fun. But, it looks great. And, uh... Reports are that... At least from the people that I have seen that have already gotten it, it's that it's not terrible. It's just that in the transformation, a couple of the panels don't really want to tab in properly. Or they're a little bit uh, annoying to tab in, but it's okay. We have dealt with worse, haven't we? Let me go ahead and... Oh, so much... Okay, let me just lay it down. Grab the box. Throw it behind me. There it fell. And here we go. Take these things, just throw them as well. Wonderful trans. Sounds like somebody's stage name. Anyway, so wonderful trans Kai Atlas. This thing looks gorgeous. And I can't wait to open it up and see how it feels in hand. Uh, nothing in the box. I put that box on the next to me because I want to have somewhere to put this blister in. Manual. Sadly, this one does not have a bio card. But I'm interested in seeing how the manual looks. It's just transformation. Explaining how to exchange the phase, use the LEDs. Does anybody actually like Optimus Prime without the faceplate? I hate it, personally. Finish. Okay. Let's go ahead and open it up by sections. Put the figure to the side. Here are all its accessories. This one goes in the back. I hope this... Like, I, I saw this and it actually, like, made me very nervous because, you know, th this just goes in the back and I'm, I'm, and it's hold on by just this peg and I'm scared that this is just gonna keep falling off from the back of the figure. Looks like this can actually move. Yes. No. No, yes. Uh, this looks like it has a lot of moving parts. Oh, Spudger. Alright, so this, this actually does move like this. No idea why. But this... This looks like a... Yeah, like, yeah, it, it totally moves. I'll check it out later. Oh, you can just hmm. This actually has things on the sides. Looks like it. So no, I don't think that moves. But it's cool because this is. He has two guns, and one of the guns you can store it here in bot mode. And I think that's pretty awesome. Or is it downward? Yeah, it's downwards. So that's pretty cool. I like that they have this type of weapon storage. That actually has a backpack for his gun. Let me put that to the side. Here we have 
these doohickeys that go on the arms and they also go in uh, truck mode to cover like parts of it it also functions as wrist rockets so that's the thing here are the other wrist rockets put that to the side here's this thing that combines with this thing like this seems like it probably gonna need to oil this up a little bit um, no idea what this is oh yeah the pole for the axe doy it's the pole for the axe pretty awesome looking axe probably not gonna display it with it because it the axe doesn't go anywhere in uh alt mode it's supposed to split because you can turn it into a double axe as well but that's cool that's a really big fucking axe that's really fucking big all right let's put the axe to the side this over here um oh this is for the double axe put it on each side put that over there and here are his guns i look pretty damn cool this is weird probably for alt mode because this this is how it holds it in robot mode I imagine oh god like this, this whole fucking thing transforms look at that oh oh, oh now it, it, like this it looks like the G1 gun okay I get it I get it like this it looks like the G1 gun Now that's fun. At least I think that's what it's supposed to convey. And he gets two of those. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so what else do we have here? This thing. That I have no idea what it is, so I'm just going to put it to the side. The alternate faces. It's a very stern and serious face, and here we have a half-broken face, which looks cool. I don't like that the eyes are made for light piping. I imagine this guy has, what, light-up feature for the face? I'm probably just going to remove the face and paint the eyes, because that's usually what I do for my figures. And claws that are actually made out of... Diecast. Yeah, these are actually diecast. They can go on robot mode and they can also go in truck mode. And that's pretty cool. And you actually do have the option for these. So let me grab this blister. Put it in the box. And now for the most important piece of this unboxing, the bot itself. Now, I will say one thing out of the get-go. I don't like that it's a blister. It doesn't look broken, thankfully. But this should come in a foam, honestly. Oof, this feels very hefty, very solid. How's your ankle rocker? That ankle rocker is awesome. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Now you can see like a couple of things are not oriented the same on both sides. Let me just put the blister on the floor. And here he is. Here he is. He looks... He looks 
great. He looks great. Um, he feels cheap. You hear that? That sounds like it wants to fall off. Yeah, that's... The other one is not like that. But this one is. That's, uh... Nice ratchets. Nice ratchets. Let's see what we're working with under the skirt. Okay. Are your feet balanced, sir? They don't look like it. So something is not... That's with your... Okay. It's like one of the legs feels like it's taller than the other one. Amazing app crunch. Amazing app crunch. I, I think you can like actually like tap this somewhere so the app crunch actually looks very fucking awesome. Uh, but I'll check that later. There's a lot of things you can do for this guy. Let me tap that back in. Okay. Come on. Just tap things in. Come on. There we go. It's a tap on all. It's tapped on all sides. Okay. So uh, yeah, yeah. First impressions. This guy looks pretty fucking cool. But honestly, he feels. Oh, uh, that was weird. You guys saw that? That's, uh... Huh. This should... be tapped in. Shouldn't come out that easily. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How much was this thing? This thing was not cheap, was it? Um... Yeah, this thing, this thing feels, doesn't look like a knockoff, but it certainly feels like one. It certainly feels like one. Like the plastic quality does not feel like the best. This is a very, very weird feeling figure. Like, I, I, I generally feel like I'm playing with a bootleg. That's not bad. Oh, okay, this, this bends forward. So it can accommodate. There we go. Very, very interesting, very gappy. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is a very weird one. I don't know what to make out of it, honestly. Because again, like, like, first impressions, it feels cheap. It feels cheaper than what it costs. And things keep wanting to pop out. Come on, dude. Wow, wow, wow. This is... Okay, I, I see what the issue is. There we go. There. <laughs> it came off out of there again. So I mean, yeah, yeah, the, definitely this is for transformation. Oof. Man, this is a rough one. 
This is a very rough one. Okay, I imagine this should be all the way forward and then this should tap in there. Man, I don't know, that, that, that does not feel or look right. Yeah, like, this, is that better? I think so. I think so. You know, like, this goes somewhere. Oh, and this goes back here. It has a little tab there. So I can actually tab it in there. Can I actually tab it in there? There we go. So that, that, that's sort of there, holding on with hopes and dreams. There you go, you have a jackpack now. Again, like, he, he looks, he looks. Oh God. <laughs> he looks great. He looks great, just, it does not feel great. Uh, cause all, all of this just keeps, like, all of this just keeps, uh, coming off. Yeah, like, the, the, the dude is dying to transform, and I'm like, I'm not gonna transform you just yet, man. Come on. Come on. Just tab everything in there. Be a good sport. There we go. Got that back in there. All right. So I heard like their drift, the first one that uh, this company made was a wonder, wonderful trance. The first one this company made was very hit or miss with people. And people were actually like looking forward to this because like again like look at it it looks pretty amazing it's just it's not pretty amazing and you actually hold on to your guns that's that's uh a very important question for these figures he can feels feels tight enough. There we go. There you go, yeah. Totally handle his gun fine. I'll totally like hold on to the other one. Still don't know what this is. I'll check the instructions later. And yeah, I'm totally gonna go, hmm, how? I want to untab I want to paint those eyes because they're lifeless. I need to paint those eyes. Like, I need to. Because I'm not like the, the figure looks dead to me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, th this is supposed to, like, just go like this. And you're supposed to open this up and... That is fucking amazing. I love this. I love. I love that. Transforming gun like a backpack to carry the other guns in. Things not tabbing in. Man, this, this is going to be a very hit or miss as well. Uh, as a display piece. This dude looks like great, especially if you don't look like for blemishes, because it totally has a blemish there. And then like, look at this. This just wants to fall off. Like, can I tighten this somehow? Oh, look at that. It just wants to come off. That's. But if you're not looking for blemishes, and if you just leave it alone, it looks amazing. I'm dreading the transformation, as everybody else that has gotten this thing has. 
Uh, yeah, it's that's uh interesting. I don't know if I like it. Come on, dude, like move, move your neck properly. I'm just gonna go in there and. That's all. Find out how to actually change the color of the eyes. But before we leave, for size comparison time with transform element OP prime. And yeah, like he's actually bigger than a regular masterpiece prime. So that's cool, I think. Yeah, I kind of like. Kinda, I kind of like this look more. Oh yeah, I totally like this. Yeah, I like this look more. It's probably how it's supposed to go, but I don't know. I'll check it later. Yeah, he, he like you move it and like it's so jiggly. But uh, yeah, like for for size comparison, like you can see, like this guy is a pretty hefty size. It does not look bad. Again, it's a looker. The price I think is way too steep for how it feels, because it, it feels like I'm playing with something cheap, almost like the Lime Toys uh, Optimus Prime, but just like one step above that. That's, that's how this feels, honestly. All right, I'm, I'm done rumbling. Uh, as far as first impressions, this, this guy feels like a mixed bag. Totally feels like a mixed bag. I still don't know if I have him like straight or not. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Adios.